Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. I'm kind of nervous about today's video. So I am decluttering my entire makeup collection. You're not going to see a ton of my face in this video. You're going to see more kind of this area. I've cleared off my whole kind of vanity area. But here's my vanity and this is where I get ready in the morning. That mirror is normally over here. Um, but let's take a look. So plan for today is I am decluttering my face products in one video, eye products in another and lip products in another. This video is face products. So I'm going to put them all out and then I'm just going to talk you through why I'm decluttering things, why I'm getting rid of things. I have a lot of makeup. So I have an Alex Nine drawers that is full. And then I also have this drawer of eyeshadow palettes. So thanks for watching guys. I, I don't know how much I've cleared out at this point because I'm starting this before doing it. I'm doing all the intros first. Don't want to do all the cluttering and then I'm going to do the like end bits. But thanks for watching. Wish me luck. Just film foundations and it's just already kicked me out. So starting off again, sorry. Um, keeping the number seven hydroluminous moisturizing foundation because I really like it. Keeping both versions of the It Cosmetics CC cream. They're different shades. One is fair and one is fair light, but I like them both. So I've got the hydrating version and the regular. Keeping the Hourglass Alabaster and keeping Estee Lauder because it's brand new. Getting rid of the Urban Decay All Nighter. I'm going to keep, because I haven't used it a lot, the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation. I just haven't used it a lot and I've not had made an opinion yet and I bought it, so I'm keeping it. I quite like the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation, so I'm going to keep that as well. I'm going to get rid of this Tinted Moisturiser by Laura Mercier. I don't use it. I'm going to keep the Wet n Wild photo focus in dewy the dewy kind of one and it is in what shades in nude ivory i'm gonna keep that i'm gonna get rid of the giorgio armani luminous silk foundation i've had it for a while and i don't really like it that much i'm going to get rid of this elamasca skin base in o2 because it's too light what was i thinking um far too late so i'm gonna get rid of that I am going to keep the number seven, basically all of my number seven ones I'm going to keep. That's the Instant Radiance, Beautifully Matte, Stay Perfect. They're all good for different reasons, so I'm going to keep that. I am going to get rid of the MAC Studio Water Weight. My skin doesn't react well with this. Now, I have somewhat dry skin, and I just find that this exacerbates the dryness of my skin because I have some dry patches at times, so I'm going to get rid of that. I'm also going to get rid of the number seven airbrush away, actually, because it's the same idea. Um, those really, really light kind of liquidy ones don't always react well with my skin. I'm going to keep the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NW13. Okay, so where was I? Sorry, I had a phone call there. Um, Right, I need to get rid of some more of these because at this moment I'm currently keeping 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and getting rid of 6. So let's do a couple more and get rid of straight away. I'm going to get rid of the Fenty Beauty. I just don't really like it. It's the original one. I think I would maybe like the other one better, but I just didn't really like it when I wore it. I'm going to get rid of the Bare Minerals Bare Pro. Um... I've used it a few times, it's just not my favourite. I actually don't think the shade's good and that's the issue. I'm going to get rid of the infallible total cover because as I said, I don't really wear full coverage so I don't need that. And I've kept enough kind of full coverage ones. I'm going to keep the Revlon Candid because I have been quite enjoying that. It's a bit different. I'm going to get rid of the custom cover drops because I've just never really used them. Like, they've never done really what I needed them to. I get what they're for. They're not, they've never really worked for me. I'm going to keep the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate because I haven't really used it a lot. So I want to keep that. Oh, almost dropped it. Um, I'm going to get rid of the Clinique even better because I don't really like the way it looks on my skin. I'm going to keep 
this spare the studio fix fluid because it's my same shade and i'm not going to get rid of that because it's expensive why have i got three of the studio fix fluids so i'm going to get rid of one of them but because i don't need all of them but i think i'm going to check the dates and figure out how expensive they are I'm going to keep, I think, the MAC face and body because I do quite like it. But I'm going to get rid of the number seven super light foundation because I've got enough kind of light coverage and I don't really see the point in that one. I'm going to keep the NARS um, sheer glow because I quite like that one as well. And then I'm going to get rid of the MAC next to nothing. It's the same thing, like that kind of too liquidy. I'm going to keep the Cover FX Power Play, but only because I've not used it that much and I want to use it. I think it's quite old. I've had it for a while, but it's never been opened, so I want to use it. I'm going to keep the MAC Mineralize. And I'm going to get rid of the L'Oreal 24 Hour Infallible Map. So, in total, getting rid of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And keeping 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 20. So I've got rid of almost half. Came back another phone call um okay i think i was the end of this so i'm gonna get rid of the lasting perfection i'm gonna get rid of a couple right away that are just too light because i had some concealers that were just far too light so i'm gonna get rid of this color pop no filter concealer in fair o2 i'm gonna get rid of the elf 16 hour camo concealer in fair rose i like this concealer but this is too light of a color i'm gonna get rid of this makeup forever ultra hd concealer because it's just not my favorite um i'm gonna get rid of this bobby brown porcelain creamy concealer in the white setting powder because that's not the right color for me i've got the white setting powder and i've got the right color of concealer so in saying that, I'm going to keep the corrector in light bisque because um, I like that for under my eyes when I've got dark circles. I'm going to get rid of the it Cosmetics Bye Bye Breakout Concealer. I've used most of it and I took a stopper out, but there's still some left. I can pass that on. I'm going to keep the... No, actually, I'm going to get rid of the Bare Minerals be, Blemish Remedy because I've realised that actually concealers when I'm breaking out don't help anything. So I'm trying to avoid wearing concealer when I break out rather than add specific concealers on. I'm going to keep the MAC Studio Fix Concealer in NW10. That's quite high coverage and I like it. I'm going to get rid of the Tarte Creaseless because it's not, it doesn't just, it just doesn't really work for me to be honest. I'm going to keep the Naked Skin, Urban Decay Naked Skin in Fair Neutral. I am going to keep the Milani Conceal and Perfect in 105. I'm going to keep the number seven Lift and Illuminate Serum Concealer in light. I really like that. That's quite new to my collection. I really like it. I've got two shades of the Conceal and Hydrate. I'm going to get rid of C1, that's the lighter one, and keep C2, the darker one. Um, The Fairest Born This Way. I haven't really used a lot, so I'm going to keep that and use it. I'm going to get rid of the Milani Erase and Retouch. I just don't like that it comes up through the sponge. 
I'm going to keep the Matchmaster 1.0 by MAC because I do like that for if I'm not wearing a lot of makeup, I just wear that. Keep the Cover Girl in 150 Porcelain. I'm going to keep the Kylie Jenner. It's lighter, but I do like to have a kind of lighter one. And then I think I'm going to keep these two, the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills one in 0.75 and the Bye Bye Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye in light. I'm going to get rid of this concealer powder in Well Rested because I don't really like it. I don't really like using it. So in the end up, I have kept 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, which is far too many, I know. And I'm getting rid of 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Why do I have this many face powders? Why? I have four, eight, 12, 16, 20. That is crazy. I have 24 face powders. No, 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 no. I have to have way less of these. Okay, so keeping straight away the number seven airbrush away translucent this is a dupe for the charlotte tilbury this one that i have unopened the airbrush flawless finish so i'm keeping both of those i really like them for setting my under eye i have two bare minerals mineral veils i don't need two so i'm going to keep one i've actually got three i've got a mini so i'm going to get rid of one and the mini and keep one of the big ones that's enough this is a foundation powder. It's Bare Minerals Matte Fairly Medium. I'm going to keep that because I do like having a couple of foundation powders. So I'm going to keep that separate. These ones are also... Are these all R210? Yeah, they are. Um, so I'm going to keep that one, which I have hit major pan on. It just shows you just how much I've used it. I really like it. And I'm going to keep one of them because they don't make it anymore. But I'm going to get rid of one. Pass one on. A good powder but somebody else could use it okay i'm gonna get rid of the tart double g beauty fair neutral press powder it's fine i have enough just now i don't need another one um i'm gonna get rid of the 17 loose powder 17 isn't even a brand anymore they don't make it anymore so don't keep that i'm gonna keep the translucent light of the cover fx because i do really like that and i'm gonna keep both of them because it's the same thing and i like to have one kind of small one that i can fill up for travel and that is the one i do tend to take when i travel i am keeping both of the it cosmetics i have light and fair um these are amazing just really good kind of powder foundations and i'm keeping both because i like them I am going to keep the cover girl. Oh, I love the smell of that. And you can't buy that here, so I'm going to keep that. I think I'm going to keep the Studio Fix um, powder foundation as well, but I'm going to get rid of the Light Plus Mineralized. No, actually, I think I'm going to keep the Light Plus Mineralized, but I'm going to get rid of Max version of like the white powder because I've got several others of those. I'm going to keep the ColourPop setting powder and the Laura Mercier setting powder. And I'm going to keep the Bobbi Brown and NARS of those powders, the kind of white ones. And then I think I'm going to get rid of the ColourPop No Filter Sheer Press Powder because I just have too many. I'm keeping more powders that I'm getting rid of, but I'm keeping like one, two, three, five of them are either like dupes or like duplicates and kind of like foundation powders and then I have a couple that are like extras of ones so yeah keep those. but I'm getting rid of four seven so not too bad
Okay, these are all my face palettes. Now, this is ridiculous because I don't hugely reach for face palettes. So at this point, I have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I have 20. This has to be 10 or less. Like, I cannot keep this many. Um... There's just too many. So I'm going to keep the Kat Von D shade and light. I don't buy from Kat Von D anymore, but I do like that palette. So I'm going to keep that one. Straight away, I think I'm going to get rid of this Tarte one, the Tarte Volume 3, Tartus Volume 3. It's kind of too dark for my skin. So I have people that I could pass that on to that could get some really good use out of that. I'm going to keep the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Kit in Radiant because I really like it. I'm going to get rid of the sleek kind of dark, it's like darker. I really like it, but the colours just aren't great. I need to be really careful with them. That can be passed on again to somebody with a darker skin tone than me. I'm going to keep the Smashbox Pearl Illuminating Palette. I think this was a collaboration with Casey Holmes because I do like that. I like highlight. I'm going to keep that. And then, oh, good work, it's hard. Okay. I think I'm going to pass on the Sweets Glow Kit because it's just not colours that I use. Somebody's going to be so happy to get that because it's like an Anastasia Beverly Hills one. But I'm going to keep the Nicole Guerrero one, but I'm going to maybe get rid of the Sugar one as well. See, like, I've only just, like, swatched these. They're literally, like, basically brand new. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get rid of Sugar. What one do I want to keep, though, between Nicole Guerrero and Sugar? I think I might wear... Hmm... No, I'm going to keep the Nicole Guerrero. Okay. I'm going to get rid of this. There's four gone. Four keeping. Good. Okay, I'm going to keep the Juvia's Place Hand and Blush Volume 2 palette because I got this recently. Now, this is made for a darker skin tone, but I do really like all the colours in it, so I'm keeping that. I'm going to get rid of the Tartus Pro Glow palette. I've had it for a while. I've used it kind of off and on. Somebody else can have that and be happy to have that. I'm going to get rid of the BAM Highlight and Contour one. I've never reached for it, so there's no point in me keeping it. But then I'm going to keep the Tarte Blush palette. That was their holiday one from a couple of years ago. And the Highlight palette. Because I like them and I use them. I'm going to get rid of this BH Cosmetics series. Just now, this is a bit of a random palette. It's kind of got face stuff in it, kind of got eye stuff in it. I'm going to pass that on. I'm going to keep the MAC Holiday one from last year because I do really like it, but I don't use it that often, but I like it. I'm going to keep this ColourPop one with the six colours in it. Let me count because I want to make sure that I'm not keeping like a ton. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This C palette is kind of separate because it's got... So this has a Giorgio Armani setting powder in it that I, I really like and I use. And I think this is Makeup Forever, so that's keeping... I'm going to get rid of the Emily Noel The Needs palette. I just don't reach for it very often. I liked it, but I just don't reach for it very often. I'm keeping the Charlotte Tilbury because I use it quite a lot. And I'm going to keep the It Cosmetics Je ne sais quoi. I got that in a Beautylish palette. Now, I'm just going to look again at all of what I am keeping to make sure there's none that I can like get rid of because I don't actually want, I think this is still too many for how much I use. Okay, I think I'm going to get rid of the Smashbox because I have a lot of highlights and somebody else could use that. It doesn't have as much as me. And then I think I'm happy. So I'm keeping 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, kind of 11, and then getting rid of all of those ones. Okay. Okay, so currently I have 26 blushes and 14 bronzers. That's ridiculous. I used to have bronzer, blush and highlight all in one drawer. And I think I would like to get back to that. 
Um, so this is going to take some work. Now, some that I'm going to get rid of, I'm going to start with a blush. Some I'm going to get rid of straight away are these little mini Too Faced Love Flushes and Love Hangover and Justify My Love. I just don't use them very often so they can go and get decluttered. I'm also going to get rid of these three bare minerals. Um, oh, sorry, that's a bronzer. I'm going to get rid of these two bare minerals in Hint and Vivacious. I don't really like loose powder blushes, so I don't know why I have them. I'm going to get rid of the 17 because, as I said, they don't make that brand anymore. So there's no point in keeping that. Let me look. Okay, straight away, I'm keeping all of my MAC blushes because I really like them. So I've got Melba, Melba, Burnt Pepper, and Blush Baby. They are staying. Rockateur is definitely staying as well. And so is Hervana. Now I have Dallas somewhere. It's not clearly in here. It must be somewhere else. But Dallas is staying as well. Hervana. I'm going to keep this Lorac in Rose Satin because I really like it. And I'm going to keep this Colourpop in Cruel Intentions because I like that as well. And I use it every so often. It's kind of it's a nice colour. Um, I'm going to get rid of this sleek one in flush too dark and I'm going to get rid of this sleeked one in pomegranate it's too dark as well right when I look at these three these are all makeup revolution baked blushes I have hard day loved me the best and bang bang you're dead I'm going to keep hard day and I'm going to get rid of the other two because they're just colors I don't really wear I'm going to keep NYX nude because I like that when I'm not really wanting a major blush moment I'm going to keep the Tarte Natural Beauty and these two Tarte ones as well. That's Party and Thrilled. Um, I think I've hit Pan on Thrilled. Yeah, I have a hit Pan on Thrilled because I use it so often. And if you know what hitting Pan in a blush feels like, you know it's good. Um, I'm going to keep Nurse Seduction. But I'm going to get rid of this Laura Geller and Guava because I don't really like it. I'm going to keep the Milani blush in Tea Rose, but I'm going to get rid of Lady Rouge. So I'm getting rid of 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and keeping 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I'm happy with that. Um, I think when I was talking about Dallas, I think I got rid of it because it's re been reformulated and I bought the, I need to buy the reformulated version. But anyway, so not just that I don't. So done. I'm going to put these away just now. Okay, bronzers. I'm going to get rid of Bare Minerals A Little Sun because I don't really like it. It's a bit too warm toned for me. And I'm going to get rid of this Revolution Bronzer Reloaded in Holiday Romance. I need a darker colour. It doesn't really show up. I'm going to keep the Soleil Tan de Chanel. This is the old formula and it's really good. I haven't tried the new formula but I've heard it's not as good. And I'm going to keep Mineralize, uh, Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark because I do like having a bit of a darker one. I'm keeping Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. Soleil. I'm keeping Benefit Hula. I'm 100% keeping my Kevin Aquan in Medium. Now I don't have as much bronzer so chances are I'm not going to get rid of as many as these. I'm going to get rid of that Dove kind of contour stick. I don't really cream contour. It's by Colourpop. I'm going to keep the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Tawny but really I need a lighter colour. So if I got lighter colour, I might get rid of that. Um, Nars Laguna is just not my favourite. Mm. I don't know though. I'm going to keep it, I think. And I'm going to keep the Fenty in Caramel Cutie. I'm keeping this next kind of contour shade in taupe. But I'm going to get rid of the Bare, min bare Minerals, the Deep End. It's too dark. I'm going to keep the Lorac Beach Betty. And I'm going to get keep the... Beached bronzer and bronze so I'm only getting rid of four of them but I don't have as many bronzers so I don't feel as bad as that. okay I have 30 something highlighters now this is going to be hard because highlighter is I think my favorite part of makeup so straight away I know I am keeping 
probably more of these than in any other category. I am keeping my three Lorac. I have Gilded Lily. I have Moonlight. It's a bit pinker toned. Gilded Lily is similar to Opal and Becca. Um, I've got the pinker toned Moonlight and then I've got Starlight. The three of them are 100% staying. I'm keeping my MAC ones. I'm keeping Soft and Gentle and I'm keeping Double Gleam. And I'm also keeping Oh Darling, but I think I actually haven't opened. Oh yeah, I do. I haven't opened Oh Darling and an unopened Oh Darling. They are staying. Okay, let's see what ones I can get rid of. I'm going to get rid of this Wet n Wild kind of baked blush highlight thing. And don't flutter yourself. I just kind of changed this and highlight the other day. Um, don't love it. I'm going to get rid of this Bobbi Brown. It's kind of a bronze. My dad got me this years ago and I might want to like hold on to it somewhere in my collection for like sentimental reasons. But it's not going to my face anymore. I'm going to keep the Ofra palette with Blissful Pillow Talk and Rodeo Drive. They're beautiful. Keeping. Um, I think I can get rid of this Tarte one in Exposed. It's fine, but I've got other ones that I prefer, so I'm going to get rid of that. Actually, I think I have two of them. No, Enthused is the other one. Yeah, I'm getting rid of both of them. That Enthused barely showed up there. I'm getting rid of that. I'm going to keep my Wet n Wild Mega Glow in Precious Petals because I really like it. I'm going to keep this Laura Mercier Highlight 01. Um, it's just kind of nice and neutral. And I think I'm going to keep the Laura Mercier in Devotion as well. It's kind of baked. It's different. I like it. But I'm going to get rid of this Colourpop one and On the Cusp. I'm also going to get rid of the Laura Geller one, Gilded Honey, because I don't really use it. I'm going to get rid of the NYX Born to Glow because I don't use liquid highlights, really. The only liquid highlight I sometimes use is this Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in, they're all the same colour, what are they called? I think Celestial. So I've got two little versions of Moonlight, sorry, and one Celestial. I'm keeping them because for a night out, when we're eventually allowed to do that and like weddings and stuff, that's nice. I'm going to get rid of the lighter version, I think, of, actually let me swatch them. I'm going to get rid of one of these Milani ones. I haven't quite decided what one. So that's the darker one there. Can't hugely see it. Um, and then that's the lighter one. Let me keep the lighter one, get rid of the darker one. Let me see if I have my ring light on. It's two seconds. No. Okay. I am keeping the Hyper Real Glow MAC palette. I use it all the time. That middle shade, I clearly use an absolute ton. Keeping. I'm going to get rid of the Bam Mary Luminizer. It just was never a colour I pure liked. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to keep the Wet n Wild one and Blossom Glow because I like that as well. But I think I'm going to get rid of... Oh, I don't think I'm going to actually get rid of these. Okay, so I have a Mini Moonstone. Which I'm keeping by Becca. I have a bigger moonstone that I have like hit major pan on keeping. Who has pan highlighters? Me sometimes. Um, I have Peril, which I'm gonna keep. Opal, I am 100% keeping. I wear it constantly. There's a big dent in that. Um, I'm gonna get rid of Kevin Aquan Celestial actually because it's just not really anything special compared to what I have. I'm going to keep Vanilla Quartz from Beck, Becca, sorry. So pretty. I'm going to keep the Essence Pure Nude for now, but it's not my favourite. It kind of shows up sometimes. I like it some days, but I like to wear highlighter every day, so I like lighter ones. And I'm going to keep this Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light. Now, this isn't really a highlight. This by Hourglass. It's more a... Uh, what do you call it? It's more of a like setting powder, but I use it as a highlight because I don't want to be that shiny. Um, I'm going to keep Champagne Dream Flashes Bellini by Becca. This was like a limited edition one. I like it. I am keeping this one as well, which is Lilac Geode. Don't wear it as often, but I do like to have the option. 
I'm keeping all of my fancy ones as well. So this is Fire Crystal and Lightning Dust. Really like, used regularly. This one I don't use as much, but I love it. Um, Sandcastle and Mint Mojito. More as eyeshadow sometimes, but I'm keeping them. And I'm also going to keep Hustle Baby because I haven't really used it very much to kind of see what my thoughts are. So I'm getting rid of three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not too bad. Not amazing, but not too bad. Okay, setting sprays. Now, I use my setting sprays all the time. Sorry, I'm just moving so in camera. I use setting spray every single day. So some of these are gonna, a lot of these are gonna stay probably. I also have Urban Decay downstairs, but I'm keeping that as well. That's Urban Decay. Um, what's it called? The 24 hour one. Anyway, I'm gonna keep the Revolution Hydrate and Fix. I really like it, but I'm actually gonna get rid of the Max Factor Lasting Performance. It's fine, it's not my favorite. I don't need it. I'm also gonna get rid of the Obsession Dewy Fix. I don't really like it. And the Tatcha Luminous Dew Skin Mist. I've used this a lot, but I just can't really get, it's more of a skincare thing for me. So I might keep it for that purpose, but like not keep it for setting sprays. I'm gonna keep the Make It Dewy by Milani, so I like that. And I love the color Cover FX Dew Finish setting spray. I'm gonna keep that. Keeping the two Wet n Wild, I have the matte one and the natural finish one. I'm gonna keep both of those. Um, I really like them. The natural finish one isn't open yet, so I'm trying to finish up some before I do it. Um, this Scandinavia Post Makeup Recovery Spray I like, but as I say, that's also skincare, so that needs to kind of go with my skincare along with this Tatcha one. I'm keeping the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set and the Scandinavia Makeup Priming and the Morphe Continuous Mist. So I'm keeping most of those. A couple of them are just getting put to other areas, but I'm getting rid of two. Um, I also have backups of setting sprays. I'm going to show you just quickly the five backups I have because I'm keeping them as well. Um, I have two MAC Fix Pluses that I haven't opened yet because I've got too many opened. I've got a high performance um, setting spray by Cover FX that I'm keeping as well. I haven't opened for the same reason and keeping two more of the natural finish ones. I use setting spray every single day. There's not a day I don't use it so it doesn't ever go to waste. Thanks very much for watching. So, so far, so far, I have this much decluttered. That is crazy. That is far too much, but it will go to people that really like it and I'm happy about that. Make sure you comment, like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching this face product declutter. Um, eyes is coming next, if that's what you're into. You will see me get rid of quite a lot of my 100, you heard that correct, eyeshadow palettes. I'm embarrassed by that. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.